Oh, I feel good. Uh, coming into the into the finals, I wanted to do something crazy. Uh, shoot, I felt well. I got out. I just felt like I couldn't get on top of my run. I felt like I had a great acceleration. And when I got up running, my low, like my lower extremity just wouldn't come up. Uh, people have seen me all season with my knee drive. Mm -hmm. So I feel like once I fix that, like we're going to see faster times. Like in my mind, mentally, I knew I was trying to come in and run down six. Like in practice, it's been showing, it's been promising. So I know what I'm capable of. Uh, I feel like we've seen that even with me slowing down the semis to the 981. Like I'm ready to roll. So uh, I'm just happy to come out here with the guys. Obviously, all these guys, Marvin, Fred, they're my boys. Like, you know, we talk day in and day out. You know, obviously, Marvin, my training partner. So we already know what we came in to do. Anybody who betted against us getting third, I mean, first, second, and third, you probably was crazy. <laughs> and how is it racing against somebody like Fred, who had come from the 400? And like you said, you guys talk a lot on social media. Yeah. So it's really funny to see him just come down and be able to run that fast. So how was that? Uh, it, it doesn't surprise me. Like, people got to understand, like, I knew Fred when he came into uh, a and and everything. And obviously, even when he was in South Plains, like, he's been a sprinter. So it never surprised me. It surprised the world because he was he was known at the time as a 400 runner. But he's always been a sprinter. Mm -hmm. But for us, as, as the young generation, as far as me, Marv, and Fred, like, we pushing each other. Like, yes, competition when we get on the track. And, like, it ain't, you know, we ain't on no friendly tip. Like, we know we all trying to get first. But we know we're pushing each other, too. That's why I say don't be, don't be surprised if y'all see faster times, like, from all three of us later on throughout the future and then the new future. How much did you and Marvin talk about making this team together in practice? Man, y'all understand, man, last year, what motivated me a lot with making, like, getting that first place position in the Olympic trials, like, I had seen my boy go out in the semis with a, with a hamstring situation. Like, I'm in the back, like, I bust out of tears. Cause he's my dog, like, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing him since younger. So, like, to see that happen, that put me in an emotional state to be like, I had to go get that first place position in the Olympics for him. You know what I'm saying? So, now we are both on the team together, just like in 2016. So, it's showtime, man. So, like, we, we ain't trying to go to the Worlds and not get no medal. Trayvon, how tough is it to run, like, that Foss 2? Like, to win, you would have had to go 977 on Fosta, and you ran 982 in the 981 in the prelim. Like, yeah. how tough is it to run that Foss two times in one night? Oh, uh, it, it's it's tough, but it's not tough at the same time if you know your capabilities. Like I said, we like I know for a fact for myself, the type of stuff we do in practice, how fast we run, that I know I'm capable of. But I mean, I don't think it's really that big. I don't think it's really that that big of a uh, a challenge to be honest. Like we all believe in ourselves to be able to run fast, so we just go out there and do that. There were some fast times from the Jamaican trials today, and I saw Marcel's coming back soon. Yeah. Uh, how excited are you to mix it up with uh, everybody now? Man, I, I, I'm looking to re-race everybody, man. Like that's that's my thing. I feel like I wasn't able to put my best foot forward at the Olympics. So every time I get on the track, I know even my competitors know Trayvon ain't playing. Like I'm trying to, like I'm gonna make you run. Like because that's how I felt from all the things that I had to deal with last year with not making the Olympic final, all the backlash, everything like that. So for me now, my mindset is different from last year. Like I'm hungry every time I step on the track. What do you think about your work on that? Especially with the backlash and uh, online stuff and all that. Man, I had to remember where I was from. Like I ain't come up easy. Like I ain't come up no white picket fence. Like I, I come from the street life. So I ain't I ain't never I had to realize that I like Trey, you ain't no sucker, like you ain't no soft kid. So I'm like I had to realize like man, you gotta get out of that mindset of feeling sorry for yourself. Like I mean I come from the south side where eviction notices, we get kicked out of houses, police brutality, like I come from that. So I had to realize, man, I get to this point, man, take heed of every opportunity that don't look back. Getting third tonight, does that affect your confidence at all? Oh, no. Going into Worlds? Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Like, I'm not playing, man. I'm ready to get back to work. Like, like I said, I know what I'm capable of. I know I, I know I can run 9, 6, and 5. So, like, I just, I know that for a fact. But do you use, I guess, will you use this as motivation then? To, yeah. yeah, of course, of course. We go back to the drawing board and we get ready for Worlds. That's the only thing that's on our mind. He said 9, 6? Yeah, like, I, I know for, man, anybody who think the guys that they're just running, like, can't run 9, 6, Man, you don't understand technology from training perspective, mindset. Like, man, the body is evolving. Like, we got to start being real with ourselves. Like, yes, what guys done in the past, like the Bolsa Tyson and Gats, like, that was incredible because obviously they didn't have, like, the super spikes and everything like that. Now you got athletes who can get up to that same velocity plus the advancement of the equipment that we use. We got to start realizing that we are evolving as a people. Like, you got, man, time's gonna get faster. Oh, we, did, we see Aaron and I run 19 4. Come on now. Like, if you think that we can't run faster, you're crazy. Now you, Christian, and uh, Fred all have the same exact same PB after that. I was just telling Fred this. I was pissed because I'm like, he got 976. I got 976. He ran 977. I ran 977. I'm like, God, dog, and then Christian got 976. So I said, man, one of us got to break that. <laughs> like, one of us got to break that. So I know all of us, man, from Christian, the Fred, the Marv, the myself, we're going to go back to the drawing board. We're going to get stronger. 
Uh, man, this, man, world's about to be a, a showstopper. Obviously, when it's on home soil, that gives us more motivation because we don't want to lose at our own home, you know. So I think it's gonna be good. I think, I think what y'all seeing today is just, it's just icing, man. I'm telling you, the whole cake coming. The whole cake is coming. I promise you that. Thanks, everyone.